come on. Come on. Yeah, wreck it, bro. Yes, we did. It's another freaking snug. Big snug. Got it. Got it. That was a snook too. It's a giant snook. All too often, we think that we understand the patterns and habits of certain fish. In particular for me, I've always fished for snook and I've always thought that I understood them so well. But every time I get on the water, they never cease to amaze me and I always figure out something new. This video is an example of that. I found a bunch of fish feeding in open water and in some serious depths that you wouldn't otherwise think that they were. I called up some of my good friends and over the course of two days we stayed on a really good bite and were able to produce some really good fish. I'm super happy to share this video with you guys and I hope that you enjoy the content. What is going on y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Ben's Fishing. Today I'm out here with my man Ryan Mori. What's up guys? If you haven't subscribed to his channel you should and he brought something really interesting to fish with me. He brought something called the Ben's box which is all these nice lures. Look at that. NLBNs, five inch, three inch, seven inch, pencil poppers, spooks. That's pretty much my whole arsenal right there. Oh, mullet. That's I, it, guys. I've been fishing with this guy for a year and I haven't made a dedicated tackle box until now. So here we go. We got a dedicated tackle box ready to go. Hopefully we catch something. That's all you need. I gave him a shout because I was like, I need a wingman because I've been on an insane bite and an insane blitz of gigantic fish. So hopefully we can bring some of that action to you guys at home. So let's get some lines in the water. What's happening, y'all? A mega, or we both are. Baitcaster boy. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. I'm out here with my boy Ryan Mori. You guys know who he is. Come on. If you don't know, if you don't know who he is, you should go subscribe to his channel. He's been in the game a long time. He's helped me grow my channel. So that'd be a really nice thing to do. But we're out here. I called him up and I was like, dude, I need a wingman to help me on this blitz I've been on. And it has been non-stop feeds. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on and why it's happening. And I can't figure it out, guys. Normally I can. I know that the hurricanes trapped a lot of the mullet in the rivers and estuaries that I frequently fish because the mullet run pattern was at its peak when it was disrupted by Hurricane uh, Nicole and Ian. And a lot of those mullets sought shelter. Oh my oh. God, that's me. Come on, he got it. No, it came off. It came off. Are you kidding? Drag was too tight. Bro, that eat was so sick. Bro, that heat was ridiculous. Ah, dude. Did you still have your mullet? Yeah. So did it stop double though? No, drag was so tight he could barely strip. Well, the Fathom really does have 30 pounds of drag, guys. That was so ridiculous. Oh my god, what a blow up. Today's already better than yesterday. Alright, we loosened up. He, I let him eat for a pretty fair amount of time. Yeah. Anyways, guys, yeah, there's mullet here. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what else to say. That was pretty epic. Uh, I suck at fishing. All those, and I was like, wow, that's a lot of bait. And All right, let's do a finger mullet send real quick. Oh, oh my God. Oh, dude. Did it come off again? Yeah, but see, that might have been a snook, bro. Why do you think that was a snook? Because of the way that it hit and didn't, like, blow up on the mullet. It just kind of ate it at the bottom. Dark. Well, let's see if we have half a mullet. Okay, so we don't have half a mullet. We don't have any teeth marks. And we have very minor fray. What could it be? Snook or jack? The shark always bites the damn mullet in half. Always. That's a huge snook. Biggest of the day. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. You get to live, striped mullet. You're useless. Oh my god, dude, look at these baits. This is amazing. Let's see if it actually makes a difference. 
Guys, Ryan and I had been debating on throwing the net where we were fishing. Because we didn't want to obstruct any eating patterns or scare mullet away. But we kept noticing that these fish were foraging specifically on like perfect silver mullet, which I'm going to show you in a sec, like perfect. And like, I'd say what, seven to 10 inches? Yeah, exactly. Fat bellies, like what, exactly what you'd see during the mullet run, right? Mm-hmm, mullet row. Yeah. I'm right there. Oh my God, he's freaking out. He's freaking out. And so we threw two blind throws and we got like 20 perfect baits. I mean, silver mullet are inherently harder to get than striped mullet. And so it's a blind throw just right off the edge of the boat. It just shows how thick they are. The whole time we were seeing these marks on traditional sonar at the bottom and I thought it was just obstruction. Turns out it's not. Turns out there is genuinely a school of mullet from probably this dock to that dock. Would you agree with that? Yeah, like I mean, in it's the, definitely it's multiple, broken up, multiple broken up. Schools, yeah. It's a lot of bait, and they're lost, they're dazed and confused, and hopefully ours get eaten. There is a lot of competition, which is an issue during the mullet run. If you fish the beaches, you typically fish a weighted rig, and you put your mullet on the bottom, and you catch snook. Because right now, I feel like we should be keeping them on the top because mine keeps diving down. I feel them in the oysters. Well, the ones I caught were all in those oysters. So that's obviously the safety. Mine's at the top though, just right there. I think this will be a game changer. And even if it's not a game changer and we take these baits to other spots that I have, we're gonna do better with these baits. It, bro. Giant snook. I told you there's snook out here. That snook is it's huge, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, he's swimming towards the boat. He's swimming towards the boat. He's gonna go nuts at the boat. Look at this snook, bro. It's so big. Oh my god. It's so big, bro. Oh, 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 oh my god, guys. Don't run. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so big, guys. Oh, that's not good. Uh, potentially. I turned her. Oh, that's got to be 40, right? Close. Hey, bring her on the other side. Don't let her on the other side. Yeah, yeah you want a face grab? I could probably land her. I got her. I got her. I got her. Okay, now you can let her out. Let me get on there. Let's go. I knew, I knew it was a snook, by the way, at eight. Yeah? Yeah, GoPro's. You're on camera. Nice. Big one. Should we even measure her, bro? I kind of want to just get her back. Would you agree that that's like 38 to 40? Guys, check that out. You want to move in this rod? Check that out, man. That is a freaking stud fish. I'm not going to measure her. I guess she's 38 to 40 inches. But she fought so hard. I really just want to get her back, man. What a beautiful freaking fish, man. Absolutely giant fish. Crazy healthy. Let's put her back in the water. Go on the other side. And get her release. Thank you. 
Relax, girl. Oh, she slipped. She got me so good. Yeah. Yeah. What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of A Ben's Fishing. Today, I'm out here with my good friend Nate. If you guys haven't ever seen his Instagram channel, it's really cool because him and my friend Albert basically have a shared channel where they fish the Northeast all the way down to Florida. So you should go and check that out. I'm going to link it below. It. It's at By Faith Fishing. Today, we got some Primo baits. Let me take you on a journey to my live well. Come with me. Check this out. Are you ready? These are the best baits that you can get in good old Southeast Florida. Are you ready? Look at this, dude. Can you see that? If you know, you know. That is a perfect six to 10 inch silver mullet, super fat. And we have about 35 of those guys just waiting to be munched up by something. So the name of the game is what it always is. Big, big jack, big, big snook, big tarp, and whatever wants to eat. Honestly, even if we get shark, I'll be happy. So we're gonna do the dang thing. I've been on this bite pattern for quite some time. So yeah, thanks for sticking with us. If you like this content, please subscribe because it helps me continue to make it for you guys. We are very close to 10,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone. So I am very appreciative of each and every one of you. Thank you so much for getting us here. Let's do this. I'm on. Guys, we just got picked up. Oh my God, no we didn't. Yes, we did. It's another freaking snook. Big snook. Come on, baby. I knew we got picked up. It's coming right towards us. Yeah, you can just hit it. Don't worry about recording. Nice slot size fish. Oh my God, these fish are so fat. That's what perfect silver mullet will do for you guys. I was just filming some content for a uh, sponsor of mine who I absolutely love, rightangler.com. And I'm doing some long form videos for them. We just got a 33 right before this. So if you want to check that out, go to Right Angler YouTube and it might be up by the time this is up. This looks like another 32, 33. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth again. And by the way, guys, it is snook season, and this one's 32. This one's not as big as the last one, wouldn't you say, Nate? Yeah, that's right about it. That is not how you land a fish. Boom. Right angler circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth. Actually, this might be 33 again. It's close. Check that out guys, that's a beautiful slot size fish. Very fat, very healthy, probably about 28 to 30. We just caught one, like I said, that was 33. Also a beautiful fish. These things are green, man. The bait looks like inlet and ocean mullet and the snook look like inlet and ocean snook and we're nowhere near there, so pretty epic. Let's get her back in the water. She is green, watch this guys. I'm just gonna flick her side to side and she's gonna kick up. And she's off. They hug mud. You can always get them at that spot right there. Just dredge the bottom with your net. Are you? Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Giant Jack. No, Snook. Nate's on a Snook. Nate's on a Snook. You need help? Huh? I'm good. I'm gonna get you on video, bro. Big one? About the same size, I think. No, I think it's bigger. Let her run, bro. Oh, yeah. It's better. Maybe a little small. But yeah, like you said, dude, they fight like crazy. Yeah, same thing, man. There's a school that we're on a school of them. Awesome. That was out there, too, huh? Well, I think he followed it all the heck the way out before finally bit, man. Yeah? Epic. Yeah, that might be just over, dude. Yeah, I think it's over just based on that head right there. 
A hundred percent it's over. Without a doubt, it's a 35. That's the biggest of the day. You want me to grab her? Sure. Keep her right there. Oh yeah, it's that. Ah. It's right around. The Get the out. tape out. Schools the same size. I'm not complaining. 32 or 33 is a nice snap. Oh man. She's over, bro. Yeah, it happened to Joe. <laughs> nice fish. Barely, yeah. Let's get a picture and get it. I knew it. Same exact size. I kind of want to tag her. All right, guys, Nate with the just over 32 and a half, but man, would that be dinner for him if it wasn't? I don't know, though, maybe. All right, let's get another. Got it. Got it, that was a snook too. It's a giant snook. Oh, maybe not. That's not a giant snook. Time that cast perfectly. Look at that stuff. Did you see what it's eating? confused. I hope it doesn't drag us right into that shoal field. I'm pulling it towards me. Bro, you need to cast your mullet there. Like your life depends on it. Well's open, so don't step back. There you go, baby. You can reel my baitcaster in. There's so many out to the out to our right, bro. You need to get a bait on and pitch it to the right. You don't have to reel that in, by the way. Uh, I do think this might be a snook. Come to the net? Nope. It does not feel like a jack. I will be very surprised if it's a jack. I think this is a 44 inch snook. I have to anchor. Hook tail hooked on that. Lips. Or it's just a smaller jack. Go off to the left. Out there, there. There's so many over there. Okay, now it's feeling like a jack. Right there. You can get that one if you give him a little twitch. Right here, right here. He's coming in right here. Right there too, dude, just put one out. Yeah, now it feels like a jack. If it's a snook, it's the biggest snook I've ever caught. That would be absolutely incredible, but I think it's a jack. Look out there. He wasn't swaying at all. He was just taking straight runs, but you know what it is. It's not deep enough for him to sway. Oh my God. Man, I was convinced this was a snook for a hot minute, but it's a jack. Yeah, it's a big old jack, donkey jack. Come here, come here. 